introducing our new navigation tool, available in kiosk mode, an easy to use and intuitive physical navigation station. AR mode, combining the virtual world with the physical world into a seamless experience, easy to use for anyone. and web mode. Easy access to navigation from anywhere in the world, available on any device. To access the navigation tool, first open your tour, click on a workspace, scroll down to navigation on your left. Under general, you'll see two options available. You have web app navigation and AR navigation. Web navigation provides you the possibility to get your navigation remotely on desktop or mobile view. And AR navigation, although it requires a physical presence, allows you to access the tour through a mobile app, the Treatise AR app. Thing to keep in mind, once you've turned on web or AR navigation, that will disable the burger menu, highlight reel, mini map, and panorama. Once you've enabled web navigation, your next step is the path editor. The path editor is a viewer which helps you to model the navigation path to make sure you understand how it's going to be created within the tour. The path editor gives you options to change the viewport settings to see within the workspace what you've placed and also the preview path tool. The preview path offers you a starting point and a finishing point which you select from a list of tags that you place and it lets you uh, preview what uh, path the navigation tool will create. So if we were to do an example here, we have one tag placed. We'll place a second tag. We go into Digital Twin, go to the Tags, and let's say we place a tag here. We we'll click Add, place the tag within the space. Make sure you give it a name. And very important to enable navigation and navigation bar. Click Save. Now you go back to the navigation path editor and once you go into preview path you can choose your starting point and your finishing point. Once you selected these the tool will generate a navigation path as you can see and it will generate the path in three modes. One is the shortest mode which will take the fastest route possible uh, including any elevators that are placed within the tour a no elevator mode, which builds the route based on a path that uses no elevators. If you don't like the path that was generated automatically, or you need to correct the path manually, the path editor allows you to do so with the help of sweeps, barriers, and teleports. The system builds the navigation path to your destination using existing sweeps within your tour. You can add your own custom sweeps and connect them to the neighborhood sweeps to build your own path. To create a custom sweep, click the Add button and Custom Sweeps. Choose a location for your custom sweep. Once you've placed your sweep, make sure you connect it to neighboring sweeps to make sure that the system understands where it is placed. Click Save. Now you've added a new custom sweep. You can also disable and or connect the already existing sweeps on your tour if you need to edit the path. You can click on sweeps, type in the name of your custom sweep, click edit, and you can see the bin icon here. You can delete any connection with neighboring sweeps. Click save, and the system will automatically reroute the path. Besides custom sweeps, you also have barriers in order to modify the navigation path. A barrier is a polygon that functions like a wall or a blocking element that can be placed anywhere within the tour. Once you've placed it in the tour, the navigation will reroute automatically in order to avoid the barrier. To add a barrier, just click add barrier and select where you'd like to place it. Let's say We'll place it right here. Once you've placed the barrier, you can give it a name. And you can 
rotate it or scale it how you'd like. Let's say we make it just a little bit bigger and a little bit taller. Within the options here, the barrier, you can also select for the barrier to be a one way, one directional barrier. So it'll only allow you to go through it in one direction. As you can see, once I've placed the barrier, the navigation path has rerouted. I placed the custom sweep here, connected it to these two neighbors. And now the navigation path has rerouted in order to avoid the barrier. Teleports exist for elevators specifically. This feature allows you to connect a path between multiple floors as long as you have elevators in the building. In order to add a teleport point, click the add button, click teleport group, give your group a name, and then you click the add teleport point. It's very important to keep in mind to make sure you place the teleport point on a vertical surface. And also once you've placed the teleport point, make sure you place one on every floor that you want to connect. So let's say you want to go from the first floor to the fourth floor, we need to put one teleport point on the first floor, second floor, third floor, and fourth floor. So we'll click this one here. We'll add name first floor. So now we've added this teleport point. If we go in here, we can add another one. Go one floor higher. Click it here. We've set a second teleport point. And then we add a name for it. We can add another teleport point just to make sure we get to the floor above. Click it here. We save that. Now we have a teleport group connected here. The navigation menu is the first thing that the guests see when they uh, enter your tour with the navigation tool enabled. This menu exists mainly to group and classify all the available locations that you've created within the tour and to make it easier and understandable for the users to search for specific destinations. Now let's uh, go through the tour and add a few more navigation tags just so we have a few more options within the menu. Let's say we place one here and go tags, add, we'll place it here. Let's give it a name, enable navigation, and save. And just for a bit of extra variety, let's place one here also. I'm going, we're going to go a little bit farther away just to get a better path. And let's place a tag here. We enable navigation again. Always make sure to have these enabled. Now, once you've added uh, a few navigation tags, you can see if we go back to the navigation menu, They've appeared under the other tab. Any navigation tags that you place within the tour will automatically appear within the other category until you've created a category to group them separately. In order to create a new category, just click Add, New Category, give it a name. You can choose an icon here to represent your category. You can choose a color, whatever you'd like. And then here you can choose which tags are attached to this category. So we'll just select all the tags we have on the first floor. We click Save. So now that we've added this, you can see the new category has been created for first floor. And we have the four tags on the first floor within that category. So if we just test out the tour, so we can see what the uh, navigation menu looks like once we open it up in the live. So you can see we have a category first floor and other. If we click first floor, we have our four 
um, navigation tags within the category here. If you're using navigation in AR, you need to create a separate category because the um, other category does not show up by default. In the navigation menu, we also have the content and settings tab, uh, which gives you all the settings um, related to the navigation menu. So you can select your title here and uh, put in any title you'd like for your navigation menu. You also have the navigation modes where you can choose the settings for the web and AR navigation menu. So you have a full screen option or sidebar for web version and for AR you can have it either to open on launch or be minimized down on the bottom. Uh, you can also choose your background color and text color and choose any sort of sorting that you'd like for the navigation menu. So you can do alphabetical sorting if you'd like. Always make sure you click the toggle to turn the sorting on or off. So we've turned on the title. And at the end we also have the navigation path settings. So you can choose to display thumbnails or co any content on the path that you've created from these um, toggle switches. The finish screen is what users see once they reach their uh, destination spot. It, lo it allows you to set up a rate and location sharing section at the end. Um, you can select if you'd like to have uh, before and after vote message, so something that will show up before they vote to place the rating and something after they've placed the rating, and the option to give them uh, a QR code or an SMS to share that location directly to their phone so they can have the navigation path saved and accessible for later. The, the location sharing pop-up uh, works uh, in, uh, together with the physical stations, the kiosk mode, and the physical station is a web version uh, of the navigation implemented within a physical station in your um, uh, hospital or mall or physical location, wherever it is that you have the tour. To add a physical station, just click the Add button, give it a title, and make sure you add a location. So for this example, we can just copy the current location where we're at right now within the tour, and then we save. And you can see the physical station has appeared in the menu here. The navigation uh, tool uses the uh, location of the kiosk to help you navigate to your destination within that tour. So you, you have to make sure you indicate the correct location for the kiosk itself and for all the navigation tags. Once a visitor reaches the uh, kiosk um, in the real world, they'll have to um, search for a destination they would like to get a navigation path for. Then they can preview that path within the um, kiosk. And at the end, once they've seen the path, they uh, get a pop-up with the option of receiving that navigation on their phone. The navigation path itself will st start from the kiosk and will take them to the desired destination. Now that we've gone through all the options in the navigation tool, uh, I've added a few extra tags and teleport points within the uh, tour, and let's try and see how it'll work out for us on the public version. Let the space load. So we get our starting point, navigation menu. Let's select something on a higher floor just so we can see the teleport points working. and. We click directions. Let's try the shortest way. And let's see what navigation path the system has created for us. So far, so good. Taking us step by step. This is a, a quite a big tour, so it will take a while. As you can see so far, the path seems correct. Down in the bottom here, you can also see how uh, much distance is still left till your destination point. And anytime you get to a corner or a change in direction, you can see a pop-up, which will inform you which way to go to your final destination.
and now we have the animation for the elevators we go up and we have reached our final destination and you can see we have the message we set for before rating and for after placing your rating.